Good morning. It is Monday. I have a little encouragement for you all today. I was watching a football game last night. And the team still had not scored in the first quarter. And I'm like, well, looks like they're going to lose. And I had this thought, like, ding. I had this thought. Um, I'm so glad that God doesn't count us out in the first quarter. You think about many people in the Bible where the first part of their life, they didn't have a high position. And, you know, David was a shepherd, he was out tending the sheep. He became a mighty king. Look at the life of Moses. You know, he was born a slave. He got adopted by Pharaoh's daughter. He went up into the, you know, his status in life went up. And then, you know, he got in trouble because um, he saw one of his fellow uh, Hebrew slaves being uh, harmed. And so he killed the Egyptian soldier and so and then he fled and then you know he's out tending sheep and then you know he sees a burning bush and God's like you're gonna go back and be the one to set my people free so his life was like up and down up and down and that's kind of how our lives are um like a football game um you know your score your team will score and you're like yeah and then the other team you're like no and then the, your team will again and they'll be back and forth back and forth and I'm like this is like life you know we're down one minute we're up the next we're down through all this roller coaster that we call life God is for us if you're his child you know it doesn't matter what comes your way if God is for you who can be against you you know there will be days that you have plenty, you have all your bills paid, you have food in the pantry, you know, everything's going fine. And then there are days when you can't find your, your matching sock and you, you know, your debit card gets uh, rejected and they're just day, you know, life, life. Paul, you know, he said it so well in Philippians 4. Uh, verse 12 and 13, probably very familiar to many people. Um, I know how to be abased and I know how to abound. Abased is brought down and abound is lifted up. Everywhere in all things, I am instructed both to be full and to be hungry, both to abound and to suffer need. I can do all things through Christ, which strengtheneth me. Many people think it's like, you know, they take it out of context. Like, well, this means I can do anything. I can jump off this building and fly. Please don't jump off a building. You cannot fly. So, <laughs> please. Um, whatever state you're in, if you're going through the hardest thing that you've ever faced, God is with you. On the good days, give Him praise. On the bad days, give Him praise. He is worthy of our praise. He's the only one worthy. No matter what you go through. You can be like Joseph. You know. One minute he's the favorite son. And he's got the fancy clothes. And then. The next minute he's thrown into a pit. And sold into slavery. And then. He's raised up. And he's like head guy. And then he gets in trouble. This lady accuses him. And he gets thrown into prison. But then he can interpret dream, dreams. So he gets out of prison. <sighs> up and down. Up and down. Up and down. This is our life. Back and forth. Your team scores. The other team scores. Your team scores. But it's not the beginning of a thing. It's the ending you know, you may have started out not really well, but finish well. Finish well and live for God. And when you stand before him, he can say, well done, thou good and faithful servant. I hope this encourages you that no matter what you go through, God is with you. He is for you and he will help you. Cry, cry out to him. Cry out to Jesus Christ. Be blessed.